Hey guys, Joseph Sakor here from Creative Piano Academy. Welcome back. I like coffee. Nice cup of coffee, tackle the day. But it does involve a lot of standing around, so I thought I'd challenge myself and teach you the very basics of music theory in the time it takes me to make a cup of coffee. Because, you know, if you know the language of music, then you can start weaving together uh, more musical structured sentences and, you know, make a bit more musical sense. So, three minutes, let's go. All right, guys, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can know all the correct notes in any major key you choose, as well as from that, what chords are available to you. This is, you know, basic fundamentals. And once you know it, it's really powerful. So the first thing we need to know is what are the notes we're allowed to use inside our chosen key? All this means is that the notes we play will make musical sense. To do this, the following I'm about to show you will work for any key, but purely as an example, let's say we want to know the notes in the key of D major. So I'll start with my D and I need to move up in a sequence of what we call whole steps and half steps. You might know these as tones and semitones, they're exactly the same thing. Look at the piano and you'll see a series of black and white notes next to each other. Half steps are simply moving up or down by one of those notes. A whole step simply moves up two, so you could think of a whole step as simply two half steps. Once we know what our notes are in the major scale, we can then build our chords on those notes and we can work out any major scale using the following repeatable method. So a major scale starts in our root note. So for example, in D major, this would be a D and moves up by a whole step, another whole step, then a half step, followed by a whole step, whole step, whole step, and then a half step. To see this in action, you can work out the C major scale for yourself. Just follow this relationship and you'll find it's all the white notes on the piano. And incidentally, this means that you can simply play all the white notes on a piano and you are automatically in the key of C. This is why as beginners, we mostly start out in this key. So let's use this whole step, half step relationship to work out the D major scale. So we'll start with our D. We'll move up by a whole step to E, another whole step to F sharp, a half step to G, another whole step to A, a whole step to B, a whole step to C sharp, and lastly, a half step back to our D. Making sense? <laughs> We're doing good, stay with me. Now we have our notes, what about our chords? We wanna play some chords that sound nice together. Well, write out the notes from D to D, we've just worked all these out, and write a number underneath each note from one underneath the D, up to seven underneath the C sharp, the top D moves us back to one. So now we have a load of numbers underneath our notes. And the important thing to understand here is that the numbers stay the same, but we can replace those notes with the notes from any key we want. Just use the whole and half step formula we've just used to work them out in any key. The next and final step is to turn those notes into chords. And you'll be pleased to know that it's pretty straightforward. So let's say each note is now a chord, but we need to know the types of chords, you know, major or minor, that we can use to make sure our chords are in a specific key. So here's what you need to stamp into your brain. Chords one, four, and five are major chords. Two, three, six are minor chords. Chord seven is a diminished chord, but don't worry about that for now. Chords one through six are the chords most commonly used and we hear most often. Now we have everything we need to play a chord progression in the key of D major, and we know all our chords will work and sound good together. We have chord one, which is D major, two, which is E minor, three, which is F sharp minor, four, which is G major, five, which is A major, and six, B minor, and seven, which is C sharp diminished. To work out the chords for any other key we want, simply choose the key, use the whole and half step relationship to work out the notes, turn those notes into our chords using the numbers, and away you go. That is perfect. You could take a level to that. Yep. Jazzy. I think Jazzy likes coffee as well. Um, hope you like this video, guys. Just a bit of fun. But if you understand how the chords can fit together and how they make musical sense, it means you will sound better and you'll sound more impressive and you'll sound more musical. I've put together a guide sheet for you for this video, going over everything we've talked about, but you know, a little bit steady, a little more steady. Go on, man. A little bit more step-by-step, -step, slower pace for you, so do check that out. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you, I will see you in the next video. Uh, uh.